What's up, guys? All right. Enough's enough on this. I uh, find myself getting censored in different places because I choose a topic. It's not the first time this has happened to me. This has happened before, different groups, different places. I normally bow out. I, I call it a day. I, I leave it alone. But the problem is, is that this particular topic I've never, ever talked about before in videos. Very rarely do I touch on it in type chats or on Facebook or things like that because it's so touchy. You don't just walk away from these conversations. But we also know that we do not promote censorship at all. At all. So my little local area uh, has a group. And uh, I was in that group. And I was paying attention to a few things. And I, I had a few people go in that group with me. Quite a few, I will admit. I brought in a lot of people. And uh, they started observing things with me and seeing where it was going. And everybody is worried about politics. Everybody's worried about money. Not a lot of people are, are noticing the correlation of how it works. And not a lot of people are paying attention to international ramifications. Your local level politics, I don't care what you say. I don't care. It doesn't matter to me. Your local level politics are influenced by global politics. You can beat your chest as hard as you want and say that we only discuss local politics. All you want. That doesn't change the fact that the local politics do affect the international and the international do affect local. I've been trying to get this thing out there to explain to people what's happening. Okay? You have a foreign government such as the United States trying to come into Canada and get some shale gas and want to frack New Brunswick. What does the United States do with their money? They invest a lot of it in military, a good portion of it, and another great portion of their money is sent to Israel. You need to know that. And I'm sick and fucking tired of everywhere I turn, I hear, kill the Muslims, and I have one question about Israel and their policies and how we're doing things. Because I just found out this month that my fucking country gave $11 million to Israel. So you're guaranteed, goddamn teed I'm asking some fucking questions. Okay? You're guaranteed that these things are going to happen. I don't care if you live in B.C., I don't care if you live in Ontario, Quebec, New Brunswick, Nova Scotia, PEI, Saskatchewan, Saskatoon, you name the province, I don't give a fuck. Because $11 million of our money just went to fucking Israel. So I want to look into that. I want to know what Israel is going to do with this money. I want to know why the fuck it was deemed necessary that we had to give them money. I'm not anti-Semitic. Make very clear distinctions between that. I understand that there's a great Jewish populace that lives all over this globe. All over this globe. Shaking many of their hands, had great discussions. This isn't news to you guys. My first fucking videos explain how I embraced all religious creeds into the fold. What I don't embrace is lunacy. An absolute crazy. See... I'm a special brand of crazy. I don't go out and hurt people. But I do talk about some really, really crazy things that really make people ask some really inappropriate questions. And you know what? It's about time that my generation starts getting answers to these fucking inappropriate questions. Like, why the hell did something like two, three thousand people die in 9-11 and we just killed how many million? If it was just about body counts, it'd be done by now. About why is it that since then I can go out and scream, kill the Muslims? And the better part of the world is okay with that. But I ask one question about the difference between Zionism and the God-fearing Hasidic Jewish populace... And now I'm referred to as anti-Semitic. We got some explaining to do.
Now, if you don't want to ask those questions, that's what I'm here for, to ask them for you. We'll get answers, and I always share my answers. But if I can't even talk to people that live in my fucking province about how our provincial tax money, no matter which leader is in this province, goes to the Canadian government, and this money is used on an international scale in another country that is practicing... I don't even think we can call it genocide anymore. What's the step up of genocide? Oh, that's right. Conqueror. We're helping somebody conquer an entire country. Okay, I don't know if you guys know the history of Palestine and Israel, but you better fuss fucking be looking into it. It's interesting. And you don't want to know what, what really blows my mind? Because the more I've been learning, the more I get upset. It's not my gods, be it the Mormon god, the, Christ, the, the Catholicism god, the Muslim god, and you know what? It's not even Scientology that says that the Jewish people are not to have a nation. You better look into this shit, because it's the fucking Torah that says it. Their own religious writings indicate, now I don't know what they did, and I don't pretend to know what they did. But whatever the fuck they did, their God is pissed. Because it was written in their religious books that they will never own a nation. And that even if one is to be given to them, they must refuse this nation. I wish I was more well versed in the Torah so I could present this argument with so much more dignity and passion than me just being upset that everywhere I'm turning and I talk about this, we're being censored. Because when you find out exactly what Zionism is, and what Judaism isn't, and you start realizing there's thousands and thousands of Jewish people that are protesting the state of Israel, that can't be anti-Semitism. I don't understand it to be anti-Semitism. I understand it to be a really weird fucking situation, but I don't understand it to be anti-Semitism. So what is happening? And why can't we fucking talk about it? Because the last time we saw this, Hitler screwed up and tried to exterminate the entire Jewish populace. Now, we're supposed to say, never again. To World War II, we said, never again. Maybe that was after World War I. Oh, God. Smarter people will be hearing this and they will be fixing me, I'm sure of it. But the world did say we will not fight like that again. Now, I do a little bit of research, I do a little bit of history, and I come to find out that less than 1% of Germans, Germany's populace was, was Jewish. I also found out that they had a 1% problem, too. You know what? The banking, the media, the politics was all governed and owned via corrupt people. They just so happened to be Jewish. If these motherfuckers would have been Christian, you would have wanted them dead just as quick. If they were Muslim, you would have wanted them dead just as quick. If they were, I don't care, if they were purple and worshipped the spaghetti god, if they were doing what was happening to Germany, you would have wanted to kill them. Do you understand what I'm telling you? Because you better fucking snap out of it. And you better wake up. Because what happens? If Hitler went after the 1%, the Zionists, those who are trying to control the world, what happens if that was his enemy? And the Zionists just so happens to be Jewish. You can't tell the difference between a Baptist or a Catholic by looking at them, can you? You can't tell the difference...